Guys, welcome back to another episode of Good Game Grabs. My name is Ray. Some people call me Nabyar, my partner in Thrift. Her name is Emily. Some people call her Zesty. And we are nerd collectors who also like to resell mainly on eBay and through our antique mall booth. If any of that stuff interests you guys, you'll want to hang in for this episode. We're going to dive into the Goodwill bins, not once, but twice today. So it's going to be a fun one. Follow along with us. And guys, I really, really, really wanted to make this about the Grail miniseries. The Grail miniseries is where we go around and collect very, very cheap media from the Goodwill bins where we pay for it by the pound. But things took a different turn. We found so much good stuff in the GM today that I couldn't just make this about the Grail miniseries. So... With that being said, let's dive into it. I also wanted to mention that there is a sale going on at our current Goodwill bin, so I thought for sure we'd have enough footage to shoot something related to the Grail miniseries, but don't worry. It's going to come probably within the next week or two where we take a massive haul into our local uh, V-Stock and try to get a video game Grail. And enough chatting, let's dive into the Goodwill bins footage. We, like I said, not only go once, but we go twice today. It's a good one. Really nothing wild so far, guys. Uh, just some books for scanning. We actually got some license plates. I don't know. Might do something cool with them. A couple of decent CDs like this, but yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. It's early. It's early for sure. Good. These could be good. Not 100% sure, but we're just grabbing at this point. A lot of people in the media this morning. I think I film every single clip of us getting a Calvin and Hobbes book, so let's go. I'm always happy. I'm just always happy to get a Calvin and Hobbes. Let me know in the comments down below if you also grew up or just currently like or whatever, just discovered Calvin and Hobbes. And hey, just remember, don't sweat the small stuff. It's all small stuff. I feel like this one's gotta be good. Oh. Okay. Random alarm going off. Not sure if I should be scared or not right now, but uh, yeah, this Ghostbuster should be good. Update, guys. It turned off. We're a fine. We're fine. Let's keep filling this with books. We're uh, we're feeling pretty good about a lot of these that we have. I'm not gonna lie. Like we have a ton of great nonfiction in here. So happy about that. What is this? Okay. Guys, this is not editing magic. Okay, okay, it's gone again. All right, they're just teasing us at this point. Let's let's go here. Okay, we have done well with uh, Spanish language books, so we're definitely gonna take that one. Let's see what else we can find. No game finds so far today. Truly madly guilty. Yeah, no. How to be your own best friend. Okay. This actually looks like a very older book. It doesn't have a barcode or an ISBN on the front. So this could be something cool just that we saw on eBay. Oh no. Oh no. This could this could actually be good, but the cover is absolutely torched. Okay. Hopefully we can get flatten that out a little bit there. I've heard music related books do well, and this is a big book of guitar stuff and a bunch of like good names okay, on here good. like the beach boys the uh, black crows boston Garth Brooks, so a bunch of different stuff green day kind of cool so yeah had to take a break from the books guys from the media uh went and got some clothing i don't know how i feel about any of it really there's no like bangers or anything in here i did get uh some levi's that i think will be okay we'll see how that pans out though but i am currently in the gm looking around for stuff that people have left i mean it has worked out for us lately so i figured why not get in here and look for a couple things that can uh, make us a few bucks and that people have left 
I was not expecting this to be in the GM. All right, I guess we gotta, I guess we gotta dig through some of this, right? There could definitely be some good stuff in here. Uh, uh, why not? Why not? 17 day diet. This could be good. You never know. Uh, body by science. All right. I'm seeing nonfiction stuff, so like, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, any faith based stuff I usually look into at very minimum. Okay, this is actually turning out all right. This, this worked out good. Oh, here we go, here we go. Surrender to win. Regain sanity by strategically relinquishing control. That's a title. I'm very quickly running out of room for anything else in my cart, so I think we might just go over to shoes and hats and see if we can just throw a couple on top here. But I'm also just like a magnet. I'm like a moth to flame. I'm just like, I want to get in this GM. There could be so much overlooked stuff in here. I don't even know. Well, you know GM is my, is my thing, guys. You guys know that. All right, all right. Let's go to, let's go to hat and shoes, and we'll, we'll maybe take one quick glance over. I haven't really had too much luck with uh, clip-in shoes. These, these clip into when you ride a bicycle. Um, but these Shimano ones look like they're in pretty decent shape. And uh, I don't know, like this could be a good test uh, to see whether or not they're good or not. I know Shimano is a decent name in bikes, so we'll go ahead and take these. I think this will be a long sell, but Precision uh, Turbos, they are a pretty good name in the aftermarket car park industry. Uh, it does need a little cleaning, just more like a brushing is all, but yeah, go ahead and take this. Not huge money, but just a good bread and butter item. They brought out even more media, so over there is like the regular media section. They just brought out a whole row right here, so yeah, we're still picking up stuff like this, which... Okay, <laughs> getting a little, we're getting a little overflowed right now, but I like it. I like when the card is in this, uh, this state. Whenever y'all see a pair of shoes with, like, the cool little, like, little latch laces, lace-up things, I, do you feel like it's a quality shoe? Uh, dang, never mind, guys. I, uh, I just saw right there. Dang, that's why somebody left these. I was like, these are gonna be my shot in the dark, and they are going back now. Uh, still searching for some hats. I did find a military, actual military hat here. This is Woodland Camo. I don't know, they used Woodland Camo earlier on in the military, so I don't know if this hat actually has age or not. We're gonna find out, I guess. I spy not only one, but two things that are up my alley that are in the shoe section. Uh, this little Belkin uh, wireless extender right here. Uh, this will probably be like a $10 bill or something like that and this sony walkman this thing looks nice too Whew. okay we'll check this out a little uh further here in a second but yeah i'm thinking we're we're pretty much done guys this is this is too dang much i don't know but i kind of want to keep looking and more lacrosse stuff uh this is another chest protector we found one last video which i realized then or realized now that was actually a goalie um chest protector this is actually a regular chest protector that a uh, normal position would play not a goalie one so looks like it's in pretty decent shape brian is a good name in the cross stuff so just be on the lookout for that but yeah we're just going to save this for next spring we'll do a big uh we'll do a big cash in at uh, played against sports around march february and uh yeah get some bucks Y'all, right off the rip, the Shimano shoes are looking pretty dang solid, guys. These are RP2W, and uh, we have 35 free shipping, 40 with 10, uh, 40 with 13, 30 with 10, uh, 20 with 8. I'm trying to find exact comps here. There was uh, something similar at 30 free, so yeah, looking pretty good on these clip-in cycling shoes. First time I've done well on these. Almost 100% sell-through rate on this Sony uh, Walkman here. Uh, 30 free, 25 free, 28 90 free, uh, 25 with three, 25 with five, 16 with nine. So should be pretty good on there. Clean battery tray. Uh, we'll go ahead. I think we have a spare uh, set of headphones, some Sony headphones that we can pair up with this, and make it look like a good package deal for sure. So as long as it tests out, we're in good shape. There were some sold listings for our Woodland Camo hat, but uh, nothing crazy, guys. I mean, we 
we'll probably get like 10 bucks with five right there, like 12 with five. Yeah, I figured this would be between a seven to $10 bill before shipping, or we can offer free shipping on it, which we'll probably do actually. Sometimes as a content creator, you get deja vu. And this is one of those moments. I have talked about Precision Turbo on this channel. I am fairly, fairly certain. And I literally probably filmed the exact same clip where I'm like, this could be worth something. There's absolutely none on eBay. Don't pick up Precision Turbo stuff. Um, they are a good name in turbochargers, but don't just don't pick up their clothing. Okay, so this was something that I just thought the graphic was cool on, and whenever you trust your instinct on stuff like this, sometimes it does work out. Uh, on the back here, you have this this guy with some some marijuana right here, uh, and says Steve will do it. But uh, this, this brand is called Full Send. I don't know, it just looked like it was quality. There was actually one shirt that sold for $30 with five. Uh, there was a hoodie that sold for $200 with eight. So I think it's just one of those like very niche brands that uh, is gonna take a while to sell. But when we do, we'll probably get 30, 40 bucks out of it, I think. Aside from the Full Send shirt, the only other thing of clothing that I got were these Levi 550s. These are actually little vintage joints right here. That's kind of cool in a really like weird size too because they're 35 by 30s. Um, but yeah, in pretty good condition. About a $20 bill right there. This is another one of those days where we gotta take the good with the bad guys. Um, I do feel like I am proud of myself because this is the most amount of books that I have gotten for Amazon FBA or FBM. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Um, these are all probably within the range of like four to ten dollars. Nothing super wild in here, but I'm just happy that we were able to to spot this amount of books uh, out of the craziness that is the bins. Um, we also got our pair of Levi's. Uh, that one shirt that we did talk about, the full send shirt, this is actually going to be for a future project right here, a little blank shirt. We have our lacrosse gear that we are going to trade in in the spring. Uh, we did get this Ghostbusters because we have number two in the same clamshell style. Uh, we'll probably just a lot them up and sell them on eBay like that. Uh, our army hats, our clip-in Shimano bike shoes that we got there. Uh, let's see, what else? Our little Belkin Rage Extender. Uh, I didn't show this on camera, but this was about an $8 to $10 bill after it's all said and done. And finally, our Sony Walkman that we got, really nice condition. But we should also mention that we got the Calvin and Hobbes. This will go in the booth and sell for five to seven bucks. So somehow we only spent $10.59. But I forgot that a viewer of the channel, shout out to Eric, he told me that all media, including DVDs, CDs, all of that good stuff, is 19 cents per inch. So that means we only spent $2.45 for all of these books and the one VHS. They, they weighed all the stuff regularly otherwise, but oh my gosh, like even just this little Wi-Fi extender right here, could almost pay for the entire haul, making everything else in here pure profit. But that also means that they're probably having some sort of like fire sale with all their media because they had more media bins out today than I've seen in a while. And if they're putting everything on sale in the media at 19 cents an inch, we gotta come back, right? We're coming back. All righty, dudes, we are back for a three o'clock rotation in the afternoon. Our bins does two rotations a day, one at 10 a.m., one at 3 p.m., and I gotta get back in there and get some media. We did bring a trusty Ikea bag, so we're gonna take the Ikea bag. Uh, we might even just skip a cart, honestly. We, yeah, we might skip a cart. We're just gonna go in there, see how much good media we can get, maybe scour the GM or the clothing for a little bit too, uh, and maybe worry about books another time. All right, this could be good or bad. Second person in the media right now. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this is good or bad. Let's see. I do regret not getting a cart now. I got a bag full of books and it's just not looking good over at the media. I think I'm gonna go over to the GM and see what's good. This is a Blu-ray. Nice, okay, all right. At least we got a Blu-ray for trade, let's go. Let's go. Oh, another one, maybe? Two for two, two for two? Let's go, all right. Blu-rays for trade, we like it. 
don't know what that is. I think now we can go over to the moon. I think it's time. Ooh, first of the moon? Is it in there? Let's go. Wait, hold on. What is this? Nice. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We like it. Pay attention to older gloves, especially if they're a good name like Rawlings. This one is a little sketchy in the condition, but it looks like it's solid otherwise. This could be sneakily really good because this is a Ken Griffey Jr. So we're going to go ahead and look this up. Anything 1996 Jack specific, I'm definitely looking it up. This doesn't look like a familiar character, but I don't know. WWE maybe? WCW? This rarely happens to me. So I found a set of Bose speakers and I was like, well, no power cord, no care. But I did find the power brick right here. And here is the other speaker with the power cord attached to it. So let's go ahead and untangle this mess. I see possible money. What is this? Oh, this is a nice Olympus point little point and shoe. This is like, wait, is this digital? This is digital. This is wild. This is probably like, yeah, 1.3 megapixels. Okay, never mind. This is probably nothing, but we're grabbing it anyway. No shot. No shot. Somebody leaves this. All right, it's all one piece up top. This is a Dunlop. I mean, this off the bat definitely looks great. Um, yeah, all right. I'm guessing like, we're, we're gonna, we're just gonna throw a number out. I'm gonna guess 35 bucks. Y'all know me, I'll pick up filters anytime that they are brand new. And uh, here's two of these Pure Maxian. I'm pretty sure we've sold this exact brand before. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we have. So not very much money, but good bread and butter. All right, so I was looking at this canteen that is marked 1994. Uh, definitely the older style camo pattern, which is a good thing. Uh, we also, somebody somebody saw me looking at that and just handed this to me. They were like, you want this? I was like, yeah, absolutely. So this is a, what do they call it? A tactical load-bearing vest, enhanced. So pretty freaking neat. I got to check it over to be sure, but uh, really cool. I feel like that's got to be worth more than the canteen for sure, but... We're gonna check both of them. I've been finding some really good military stuff lately, guys. All right, I got super stoked when I saw this Sonic Adventure 2. This is an audio CD, but I was also stoked when I saw this, and this is a Nintendo Power Super Smash CD from 2002. This has gotta have some value, right? I don't know if there's any, some Backstreet Boys. I mean, hey, who doesn't love some Backstreet Boys? All right, we're, we're gonna take, we're gonna take this and see, see what's good with that. Cause that could definitely be valuable. At least the Nintendo Power one, for sure. I'm not so sure about the Sonic one, but. I'm also literally just kicking my bag across the floor because I'm about to rep my personal best with this. Yeah, baby. I've seen my fair share of vintage turtle stuff and I've never seen this. This is 1992 Mirage Studios, but it's like Leo laying down and he morphs. That's okay. I thought I've seen these before. I haven't, so I'm really intrigued by this. This might be the personal collection right here. Okay, after two hats, after two hats of that edition, I'm, I'm giving it in. I'm packing it into a cart. Okay, all right. We're fine. Bro, I know people are not leaving this, right? This is, yeah, I didn't even have to, like, I understand that the sweatband is something left to be, to be desired, but I think it could be cleaned up a bit to where it's acceptable and wearable. This is a sweet uh, vintage Chicago Cubs hat. Okay, another first time. There is a kitchen aid mixer in the bins. What the French toast is going on here? Is there? There's got to be something blatantly wrong with this. I mean, obviously it's a little rough, but what? What's, what? 
Y'all, this is crazy. Is that the locking mechanism? What the f I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask for a flat price on this maybe. Let's plug it in. Let's plug this in. Alright guys, moment of truth. The hat sounds terrible. Oh! That sounds so bad. I wonder if people repair these things. Alright, back it goes. Last thing I picked up before homework time was this Hard Rock Tokyo hat. And you guys know, uh, anything Hard Rock that's outside of the US, I go ahead and pick it up. This thing looks like it just needs a little bit of cleaning, not too bad. But uh, we also picked up a Green Bay Packers hat. This is a perfect time to sell this stuff because we're just starting football season. And this is, of course, a new era, as you can guys, as you see right there. Uh, we also picked up the Cincinnati Reds hat that's in really good shape. I mean, all of these are going to need an oxy bath. This, uh, this, this navy hat that is made in USA as well. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just oxy bath all of these. Very minimal work to get these going. And these are just great bread and butter, you know, $10 to $15 items that will help pay for our carts here at the Vince. All right, y'all, pay close attention. This is one of the few times this happens. So, you, know, you guys know, and you've probably seen other resellers talk about how these rackets, if they're all one piece right here at the neck, it's usually a good indication that they're worth money. This is a Dunlop 700, and this is actually the older model of the 700, which is basically non-existent on eBay. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this one back. Um, I, I mean, I feel like still though, somebody's gonna pick this up and get some use out of it. So hopefully they do that. It's still a nice, decent racket, but just not worth our time. All right, y'all, we were pretty much on the money with the Super Smash Brothers uh, Melee CD. If we had the case, 50 bucks right there uh loose too loose right here at 20 with five and 18 with 350 there's another one 30 free 15 free uh looks like maybe a a, a paper case for 31 and another paper case for 35 so i mean you know around a 20 dollar bill just for that cd uh i don't know if we're gonna look this one up but eh, maybe we will Okay, glad I looked that up. Um, if I if we had the case, uh, it looks like you know fifty bucks for a single. There's one and two for one hundred seventy-two. Uh, one out of the UK for fifty-seven. One and two again for one hundred seventy. Uh, number two with the case on a bid for thirty-three. Uh, let's see, that was like the original soundtrack digitalized. There it is again by itself for one hundred twenty-six. So I mean. Uh, maybe we find somebody that doesn't have the, you know, the CD anymore and they have the case. Maybe we get 20, 30 bucks out of it. All right, on our tactical vest, over 100% sell-through rate. And it looks like around 30 to 35, guys. Uh, 30 bucks with 8, 35 free, 25 with 15, uh, 20 with 20. Uh, there was something different right there. Uh, 34 best offer accepted. Uh, 28 free. Uh, 30 free. 40 with 13 and ours is looking in pretty decent shape it definitely looks like it's seen some action which may or may not bring value to it i'm not 100 sure how that works in military but either way i mean we got a 30 dollar bill and uh it is a little heavy it is a little heavy probably you know five dollars worth of heaviness but i'm still feeling good about it I was really thinking the worst for this Olympus camera, um, but not terrible, I guess. $20 and five, 16 on a bid, free, 25 free. There was like a whole package for 25 with 11, another one for 15 with five. So uh, it did have a clean battery tray. It takes regular batteries, so it'll be super easy to test. Um, you know, good $14, $15 bill. <laughs> All right huge sell-through rate on the uh, the Bose speakers. I mean, there's 851 sold in the last 90 days, so pretty good. Uh, 25 with 15, 20 with 16. There was open box for 60. There was a pre-owned for 76. I don't know if that's because it's the black color. Also, again, with the black color there for more. Uh, here's 55, uh, 55 or 45 free, 52 free. So yeah kind of a wilding wildly different um yeah prices there but 
these look to be in really good condition. It also comes with the speaker cords, which is always nice. So that will be great. Um, yeah, I, I guess that, uh, yeah, these should be good to go for at least 30 to 35 bucks, I would think. So heck yeah, I'm happy. Over a 100% sell through rate on the Rawlings uh, Ken Griffey Jr. mitt here. Uh, trying to get the ones that are the same color here, 35 free, 33 best offer accepted free, 35 on a bid with 8, 24 with 8, uh, 21 with 11, 34 with 11, there was $10 there, I'm not sure what happened there, 40 best offer with 11, uh, 32 on a bid, 25 with 9, so I think at least a $25, $30 bill on this guy, it's in pretty good condition, so pretty happy with that pickup okay guys it's overview time okay first up we have one book for amazon fba it, again it was nothing crazy about uh 650 on this guy right here we have our bose speakers our ken griffey jr rollings love our two gaming music cds which were super sweet uh we got our pure filters our uh, camera there we've got three things for trade which is awesome because as we talked about earlier we are not doing a trade-in uh, episode today so we got a little more, more trade fodder to work with there we've got i think four different hats i showed you guys pretty much all of the hats right there so pretty awesome there we got creep show for the booth that's going to go into the booth we have some cases for case swapping that final fantasy we found the other day we're going to case swap it with this right here and then we also needed a case front there for another uh project that we're working on and then finally finally we got a the vest here which is the icing on the cake there and we got our bag which always works out great so we can just take our bag leave the cart and go and i should mention that i traded steve a viewer thank you steve for trading me this for my ninja turtle that i found he actually found another one so i felt like it had to go with its with its brother you know and then he was like yo do you want this it doesn't work but you know what i think it's cool um it's not very super old it's 2003 but just cool to add to the sega collection that one was a little more expensive guys 2045 but it's just so weird today that we, we really came for media. We really, really did. We were hoping for huge media scores and it was just okay today. I mean, it wasn't anything wild. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I mean, we're still gonna make a heck of a bunch of money even at 2045. I mean, the vest alone will more than cover that and everything else is pure profit, which we all love don't we? But if you guys want to see more footage from the Goodwill bins, more profits, more Amazon FBA stuff, more stuff to put in our in our booths, in our personal collections, hit that sub button down below. And also like the video. If you like the video, it costs you nothing to do. Don't forget to come hang out in our Discord. It is the Good Pickens Discord that Marcus Dixon's Pickens and I collab on. It's got a bunch of different resellers in there, a bunch of different nerd collectors in there. It's a really good time. Come chat with us. The link is down below. And... With that being said, guys, oh, this is a heavy bag. We'll see you later on the next grab.